Double Down Reviews. Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. Hi everybody, I'm Tim. I'm Tyler. We're Double Down Reviews and we're continuing our March to Infinity War reviews with Civil War Ant-Man. There he is. You got uh, Paul Rudd. Uh, this figure has a two head sculpts. You get the Ant-Man helmet head sculpt as well as the Paul Rudd head sculpt. Uh, they did a really good job on that head sculpt. And it's kind of cool, but they uh, put LEDs in this and you can actually see Paul Rudd's eyes beneath. It's a neat, neat little thing. We'll give you some close-ups of that in a second. Uh, they also send in Little tiny, ooh, little tiny ant man that comes with him. Uh, I don't know how tall he stands. He's not very tall. We'll measure it. Measure this guy up. What is that? Twelve and a quarter. Yeah, twelve and a quarter. So stands about twelve and a quarter. And we we can just over an inch for a uh, little ant man. Um, packaging for this guy, got your front photo, and then there's just the window, I believe, for this guy, and the back, traditional hot toys, you got your credits and all that stuff, JC Hong, just blasting them out, um, I used to have the original Ant-Man, but I traded him in for this one, I like this costume more, I think this helmet's a little more iconic looking, um, and I also felt that I wanted to have a Paul Rudd head sculpt because I never thought I'd have one. Yeah, the other one had a helmeted head that you could yep. open, but not an actual alternate head sculpt. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the old one was really cool, and I like how they did it with the magnets where it kind of like all slid apart. Looked really cool, but I wanted the full uh, Paul Rudd head sculpt. Um, kind of same thing that we were talking about beforehand, where instead of the, the full boots, they have the cuts. So you have the full ankle movement in these guys. Um, the suit is a little restrictive. Uh, it's kind of made of a couple different materials. Um, like you can see in the back here, it's like almost like a lycra material. Yeah, um, I think that allows just more durability for the figure. Uh, if everything was made of that like leather, I think it would probably start to crack after a while. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, having their legs bent however long. Uh, came with uh, a few different uh, Hand sculpts. Take those out and check them out. Articulation's a little stiff in the legs. <laughs> yeah, so not a ton for this guy. Um, what do we got? So two fists and a total of four open hands. Oh, shoot him up. <laughs> His boot fell off. Looks like, are these pieces on him metal or just plastic? This is actually plastic. I think it's plastic. I'm gonna snap his boot back in. Break him! There you go. Uh, but yeah. Cool looking figure. I was really happy with it and I'm happy with how you know, just the, the, the sculpt and the paint that mm -hmm. they've done on the head sculpt there. Um, I preferred this one over the Ant-Man hot toy. Did I think it was just... original release have such a constricting costume? Uh, yeah, his costume was a little more... Actually, I feel like it was more restrictive. Like, I had him posed beforehand kind of like in a leaping jump. You know, one arm out and like another hand back. And half the time I would have to use his own body weight to like balance him on this, otherwise his legs wouldn't stay and his legs like wouldn't hold him up because they just keep trying to pull they back. Suit falling back. Yeah. So I kinda had to pose him somewhat similar to that. And then I had the helmet on. But um, this suit I feel like is a little more relaxed and I think it's because they did that different fabric in back that allows more mm -hmm. stretchiness. Um, like you said, maybe 
if you continued to stretch them out a little bit, you could work the suit a little, but I think it would also develop cracks in the paint, yeah, that type of stuff. Ruin it. Um, yeah, tons of detail in this figure, though. Uh, we'll give you some close-ups of the head sculpts and the mask and all that stuff, the LEDs. We'll show you the little, little tiny Paul Rudd that it came with. Uh, this one, like I said, was from Civil War. You have anything to add about him? Any questions or anything? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think he's a sweet looking figure. There's a lot of detail. He's so, a sweet looking figure. Restricting suit is a little sad, but whatever. He can set a cool pose and leave it at that. Uh, you also got a sweet trade deal on this from Hot Comics and Collectibles. I, I did. <laughs> Full trade. Um, from the old one to the new one. Yeah, and like I said, this one came with another head sculpt. and Yeah, just... It's pretty cool. And I think didn't for... Uh, it was similar to what Hot Toys did with uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, where each one of them came with a Groot, a baby Groot. I think if you bought the Civil War figures, each one of them came with a different Ant-Man, didn't oh, they? Oh, yeah, they did, yeah. Cause Hawkeye came with one that like went on his arrow. Yeah, it was yeah. like sat on like the arrowhead. Yeah, so they were all different poses. Little yeah, Ant -Man. little Ant-Man. <laughs> how much was... Collect them all. How much was he? Uh, I believe he was 234 Okay, that's not bad. Good deal for a good looking figure, and I know that, I mean, he probably has the least amount of accessories out of any hot toy I've ever bought, mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's it's there. He's just iconic, Ant-Man, who would have thought, got a toy of Paul Rudd, there were some aviators on him, and a mustache, you got Brian Fantana, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you have any questions or anything, feel free to throw them in the comments box, like and subscribe. Uh, tell us what you want us to review. Throw some stuff out there for us. We'll see you next time. Bye.